Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host today, Tim McKean. Have you ever wanted to be able to send a file in an email that was too big for an attachment? We'll provide a link to a document in an online gradebook or class website. Today we're going to take a look at how you can do both of these tasks free with your Dropbox public folder. Now in a previous episode we talked about how you could use a Dropbox web service to synchronize your files between other computers and devices you might have Dropbox installed on. But with the public folder, you can produce a public link that will allow you to share specific files with others as well. Here I am in my Dropbox folder in my Finder. Now most items in your Dropbox are secure and accessible only by you or someone with your Dropbox password. But the public folder allows you to share specific files and provide a public link for others to access those files. But specific items placed into your Dropbox public folder can be accessed by anyone with the public link. First, I want to take a file that I want to share and put it into my public folder. Now, it's very important that the file is in the public folder. Files outside the public folder are only accessible by you and protected by a password. Only files that are inside the public folder can be shared with the public link. Here I have a video that I might want to share with some of my students about Google Docs and Wikipedia. I can see over here that the size is 300 megabytes, so it's too large to attach to an email. But with the Dropbox public folder, I can send a link. I simply want to click on the file that I want to share, right click on the file or control click on the file for Mac users, and then from the Dropbox submenu, I want to choose the option that says copy the public link. Now that's going to create the public link, and then put it on my clipboard so that it's ready for pasting. Now I can produce a document or email, and I can say, hey everyone, check out the new video I just made, and then immediately paste the link in. I can use this link in an email, a chat room, post it to Twitter, an online gradebook, or even a class website. It's a great way to share large files. Now others with this link will be able to access this file as long as I keep this file inside the public folder. If I want to stop sharing this file, all I need to do is take it out of the public folder and the link doesn't work anymore. You can also generate a public link through the Dropbox web interface. Simply go to dropbox.com and log in with your credentials. Here you'll see all your files and go ahead and navigate to your public folder. Here's my public folder. And then the same way as I did before, I can locate the video I want to share. So here's my video on Google Docs and Wikipedia. And again, I'm going to right click or control click with the Mac and find the option that says copy the public link. Again, the public link will be created and placed on my clipboard, ready to paste into any document, email, chat room, or website that I want to. Please remember to visit our site at edtechmoment.com Subscribe to our show in the iTunes store so that you can be automatically updated when new episodes are available. And while you're in the iTunes store, leave us a review and let us know how we're doing. You can also send us emails at feedback at edtechmoment.com or follow us on Twitter at edtechmoment. Thanks for taking a moment.